Hi everyone, welcome to Ruthie's Crafting Corner. How are you doing? I hope wonderful. It is Thursday, the 8th of August. So I thought I would give a little update on a couple finished projects and maybe a few things that I decided that I can donate to the Hooked on Prayer Ministry. So I thought, well, let's do this and just go ahead and you know, have a quick little chat today. So I finished the Easy Ombre Blanket. Here it is folded up. Here's the stitches. Here's the V-stitch. I am going to wash all of these things before I donate them. Um, here is the border. It's five rows of border and I will bring it up close so you can see. It resembles a peacoat, but it's really just like a little chain space. So it's really nice. And then a little corner stitch is like that. So I can stand up and show you since it is the ombre blanket. You can see all the beautiful colors. So that is completed. Ready to be washed and bagged. And then the soap sack that I had completed, I thought I would do the drawstring, which I did. I know, it's just a little simple thing, but I said I was gonna do the drawstring, so I did, and I do tie it in a little knot, so the chain through the drawstring. So here it is, still got the loop, okay? And what I did is weave it between the double crochets, the chain between those double crochets, just weaving it and cinch it up. Oh, there is a bar of soap in there. It's very strong. So I keep it in a plastic bag and I just tie it so it'll stay in place. It doesn't have to be so tightly cinched, but I like the scent of the soap to stay in. So I have it in a bag here. And that's where I keep it till Tuesday on the 13th. And then I was going through some things and I had a bar, a real, a small bar of peppermint soap I had. It was still on its wrapper. And I had it in this little soap sack. And I don't even remember when I made this. But you can see I have a drawstring and I tied it. It's small, but it, it surely stretches. You know, everything stretches. So I don't even know when I made that. Here's the little round at the bottom. So I thought, well... I do have bars of soap, just some basic soaps that I will keep in the container, you know, the plastic and just cut those strap off and put it in it and see if that size will work. But I thought, why not, right? Um, I'm still working on the shawl. I haven't given much love to that. I will today and the next, the rest of the time till Tuesday and get it done. I need to add that second skein, but I did want to finish the baby blanket, so I did. So I also had made the Lion Brand, the Octavia blanket. It's a knit blanket. It's in this neutral color. And I thought, well, I could give that. It resembles the traditional, uh, you know, grandma's favorite dishcloth, but it's really nice. Look how nice. It has like a little border and it's, Oh, garter stitch. So nice and squishy for a little one. So here's a baby blanket. So there's another one that I can just wash and give. And then I also had made this corner to corner. This was the first corner to corner blanket I made. And I used, um, it's so soft. I used scraps of the Premier Everyday Yarn. Because I, I had, you know, I used a lot of it and I had some scraps from it. So I'm thinking I need to measure it because I don't know the size of it, but I think it would be a nice lap gan for somebody. So here it is. I'll stand up. I fold it in half. So one corner is, I'm sorry, one corner is like if you hold it like that is mostly white and the other opposite corner is mostly blue and then you have all these other colors striped I just used what I had 
and, and it's just wonderful. So, I mean, it's a great throw for someone short like me, but why not make it for a lap gan? Somebody can just have it on them if, you know, if they need it. So I thought, well, I can donate that, right? So, that's another thing. I went through my bag of items that I've made to donate, and I thought, well, I can go ahead and donate these. And I made this, this poncho a while back. Um, offhand, I don't remember the pattern, but I did do a, vid a picture of it on a video. But I think it's very nice. It's like this, but it's a very loose, like, cowl, you know. But it's a poncho, very open, yet would keep you warm. So I thought, well, oh, and it's got the little pico edging on it, right? So I thought, well, maybe, right? Maybe. And then I did do the Say Bella Shaw by Melanie of Stitch to My Lou. And I do love the color. I bought the color with intentions of making this um, something I bought like, I don't know, three skeins or something. But this is a nice shawl, right? Just, it's perfect. So I think it's beautiful. The color is sea glass, so I thought, well, that might be nice and comforting for somebody. So I'll probably donate that. It'd be really pretty if you're wearing like a pair of white slacks on jeans or whatever. So I've got those that I plan on donating. And then a few minutes ago when I was looking for that gray poncho, I came across some hats I had made. And I don't know, this is just, um, oh, this is from a pattern by Barbara of Knitting I Love. I wanted to try it because she does this rolled brim, like it's a rolled brim, and rolled <laughs> brim. And I thought, I wanna try that, that's so neat. It gives it a real finished look. So I made that, and I thought, well, you know, it can be used for anything. And then I did this one too. And it's a, a smaller hat. It fits, though. It fits a lot because it's a knitted hat. Both of those were knit. But this is a real pretty hat, too. So I don't know if I should consider those as chemo hats or, or not. Um, I made this one. I think this was my first color work that I made. They don't definitely don't need the pom pom on it, but it does add a lot of cuteness to it. <laughs> and then I made up this pattern after doing that one. I said, Oh, well, I'm just going to try my hand at this. And I even made the top of it to look like that, the color work on it, and went all the way around. So. After I made that, I had some more yarn, so I made wrist warmers. You know, it's got not the thumb gusset, it just has it like that. There's an end I didn't finish weaving in, but it's perfect, right? <laughs> so, I'm not sure about that set, whether I can donate it to someone in need or just donate the hat. So this one, I, I'm not sure, but any of the others could be used for anybody. The colors are fine for anybody. And I can take the pom-pom off. It's, it's easy to remove the pom-pom. So I was just sharing my finished projects and some of my ideas of things to donate. So what do you think? Hmm? Why not, you know, share the love I enjoy making them, so I'm going to wash them all up and just do it. <laughs> well, thank you to all the returning subscribers and all the new subscribers. Um, I appreciate you very much for coming over and 
liking my channel, subscribing, leaving comments is amazing because we can interact more that way. So I think I will make this video short because I'm going to work on my shawl and maybe do um, meet up with some friends on Zoom shortly. So you ought to check out Zoom and give it a try. I know a lot of you already do, so we will see you then, okay? Have a wonderful day and weekend ahead, and take care and God bless. Bye.